there crying out loud, too. <laughs> Somebody's in trouble. Yes, it's us. No, wait. It's coming from in here. <laughs> Say, isn't that the old man who captured us in the first place? It sure is. Hey, Coco. Is, is that the U.S. people? Yeah, what happened to you? King Grubby got mad at me because you fellas got loose. He put me to work on this rock. I'll... Making little ones out of big ones, eh? Gee, we're sorry. That looks like hard work. It is. I've never seen such hard rocks. Yeah, how could you? You won't open your eyes. No. They must be on this level somewhere. Yeah, hurry up. It's the king and the fellas with the spears. Well, it's been nice chatting with you, Gobo, but I'm afraid we're going to... Oh, wow, we can't wait for a like this. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, we could try. But it's our fault he's in trouble. Oh, very well. Oh, Rick, grab the ball and change. They're right, Professor. Well, Bill Moore lifted the heavy ball and chain, and the happy mole man dashed out with our friend. Not this way. It's at this end of the tunnel block. Yeah, they got this game block, too. Well, this is it. I want to say it's been swell working with you fellas. But just a minute. You forget I'm a mole people. So you're going to cop out on us, are you? No. I'm going to dig out instead. And Gobo did just that. He dug right through the side of the passageway, and with our friends close behind him, tunneled onward and upward, ahead of their pursuers, until they reached the surface of the ground and broke through. Ooh. Ooh. What are you stopping for? Ooh. The, the, the sunshine. Even with my eyes closed, it's too bright. Well, here, quick. Put on these dark glasses. <laughs> That's better. A bowl they can't. Dead bright light. It was true. For when King Glubby reached the surface after them... Oh, it's too bright! Too bright! Turn it off! It's <laughs> back! Back! Go back! And the mole boat fell back in confusion. Can you hold? Yes, a hole which they quickly filled from the bottom up. Well, fellas, I guess we're safe. A good guess. They were. What's more, in a few days, they even persuaded Gobo to open his eyes. Well, one of them anyway. And he liked what he saw. I look at Everybody is in living color. Reached the rock pile, eh, Gobo? Oh, yes. They were terribly high. What kind of rock were they? Well, I think you Earth people refer to them as diamonds. Diamonds? You mean that I ran away from a room full of diamonds? I? I? And your only diamond mine was real after all. And so a short time later, a solitary figure was seen digging on a vacant lot. It must be around here somewhere. Oh, King Globby, where are you? There's nobody feels more foolish than a fuller who gets cold. Yeah, isn't that a living name? 